Hi all, welcome back to another video for Philips Tecon DDS CAD. In a previous video, I showed you how you could edit a conduit vertically to change the offset distance from the other conduit. But then I received a comment from Target asking me how to have an offset exact of 10 millimeters. In this video, I'll show you how. Enjoy! Alright, so I'll start the conduit function. As you can see, First, this conduit diameter is 60 millimeters and the start height is at 1.05, okay? So I start this conduit here. And first, I will use the, the option of climb under overclash. With this option here, climb under overclash, if I click here, these dialogs pop up. So I can select the angle and if I'm going to to climb over or under the the other object and here there is the offset distance since i want 10 millimeters i will set 0.01 meters okay now i will press enter and i will make the same but manually so i start another conduit and here closer to the other conduit I will use the hotkey page up, all right? So, this the diameter of this conduit is 16 and I want to have an offset, an offset of 10 millimeters. So, 0 0.0, 16 plus 10, so 26. I will get to a height of 1.076 and the angle grid plane is 45 degrees. Now, page down to go down, the same delta down, so 0 0.026, I will come back to 1.05 meters, and the angle will be 45 degrees. Okay, press escape. Now, I will create a cross section so we can analyze the results. This is done manually and this is done automatically using the climb over to avoid the clash. I will use the hotkey shift D to insert a dimension line from the top surface of, of the bottom conduit and here. Enter and we have 10 millimeters. Here, same. Ten millimeters. All right. So no difference if I uh, if I did this manually or automatically. However, now I will make another example with another uh, uh, diameter for the conduit. Instead of sixteen, I will select twenty-five at the same height. So let's do it again, here, 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 and just see that the band, the radius band is, of course, much bigger. So let's do it uh, automatically, climb under over clash, the same distance, same angle, and over. And now, manually. Right, so 26, 25 plus 10, so 0 0.035 and 45 degrees. Page down, 45 degrees. All right, let's now make another cross section. And let's analyze the result. See now we have different results. This is with the function of uh, climb over the clash. Shift D to insert a dimension line. And we have as a result an offset of 34 millimeters. And here we have the manually, we have 10 millimeters. However, as we can see, one band is overlapping the other one. So, 
uh, the result is when we use the function climb over or under the clash the, the automatic, uh, to automatically insert this offset, DDS CAD will uh, insert the minimal space required so that the bands are not overlapping. But if you do it manually, you can insert whatever you'd like for the offset, but uh, the bands will be overlapping. If you'd like to have the same offset for this conduit size, 10 millimeters, of course you would have to change the band radius. Would you like to receive more tips and hints of DDS CAD? Click on the DDS CAD logo and subscribe to our channel. What would you like to see next? Put it on your comment below and perhaps I make a video for you. Cheers!